This is Eugene Henrikovich. I'm the Lab Talk Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Dell Studio 1558 laptop computer with a broken screen that we're going to show you how to replace. Uh, it's a really nice laptop. It's got a Core i7 processor. So uh, it's really recent as of mid-2011. So let's replace the screen and get it back to work. Now before we start anything, we want to remove the battery. So what you do for that is go on the bottom of the laptop and then there's one switch you have to slide and then slide the battery out. So please remove the battery before you start any work. Okay, so let's take a look at this laptop. Um, it has a bezel around the screen, a frame around the screen. Now for most laptops, what you have to do is remove some screws from the front of the bezel in order to take it off to get to the screen. The studio laptops are designed differently so that there's no screws on the front to remove the bezel. You just remove it. And uh, before we get to that, let's look at the tools we're going to need. We're going to need an electronic screwdriver with a smaller PH0 bit and a larger PH1 bit. We may need a X-Acto knife with a pointed blade. We don't know yet, but we'll have it just in case. And a pair of metal tweezers. And that's all we need for this laptop. So the first thing we want to do is remove the bezel. The way how to do this is go on the screen side where the bezel ends and just start gently prying up with your fingers. Like so. And keep going around. If the part doesn't give, go to a different part, find a part that gives. And keep going around. And slowly do it. So this this may take you a while. I do this all the time so it doesn't take me as long. So we keep going around. Almost there. And let's take a look at the hinge covers. This part's free. This part's free. So it should come out. Let's see if we can get it to come out. Almost there. This part's a little bit more stubborn, but finally it's out. And so now we have the screen. The screen is held onto some metal mounting brackets on the sides with the screws that go on the sides. And we have to access those screws. In order to access those screws, we have to tilt the screen forward. And in order to do that, we need to remove these screws on top that are holding the metal mounting brackets to the back lid. So we remove those two, two screws using our screwdriver. One. And two. By the way, this procedure should work the same for a Dell Studio 1557 or 1556 laptop. The earlier ones, the screen might be a little bit different. So now that we remove the screws, we tilt the screen forward and see if we can get to the screws on the side. Let's take a look. Yes, I think we can get to the screws on the side. So we take our screwdriver. There's two screws that are holding the screen on each side and start removing the screws. This is probably the hardest one on the bottom to get to. So we got one and we're going to get the second one. Now I'm going to show you something with this laptop. This metal mounting bracket is bent so we'll have to bend it back. I'll show you how to do that. Hopefully you won't have to do that, but then you'll know. Okay, so yeah, we can get this one. It's a little bit tricky. You might have to force it a little bit to get to this screw. 
create one. And two. All right, now we can start tilting the screen forward and see if anything's getting in the way. And we see right away that the webcam cable is getting in our way. So we can do one or two things. Either take the adhesive off the back from the webcam cable. Or the other thing is just remove the webcam cable from its socket. So we chose to take the adhesive off. And now the screen is almost free. And from the looks of it, it might be safer if we actually remove the webcam cable because there's some adhesive on the back. We don't want to damage anything. So what we do is just pull this cable back and pull it like this. And now the screen's almost free. The video cable is attached to the back with the adhesive. So we start removing the adhesive until we have enough give to bring the screen forward and I think now we have enough give to lean the screen forward. Okay, so next thing, this is an LED screen, so it has one connector. Now this connector is a little bit different than most laptops from an LED screen, is that it's a locking connector. There's an extra metal wire clip that goes around the connector assembly. Let's see if we can get a good zoom. Let's see if we can see the clip. Not really, but where the yellow tape is, we pull up the yellow tape and the clip comes up like so, and only then can we pull the connector back. So before we do that, there's some more adhesive on the back, and then we slide the connector back and we remove it. So first, lift up the wire clip and then slide the connector back. Now let's take a look at the screen. It's a 15.6 inch LED screen as of early 2011. This is the most common type of screen out there. So the part number for this particular screen is B156XW 0, 02. That's the part you need to know. B156 XW02. Now you can either find the screen on Google or eBay or we can provide it for you also. Just go to screensurges.com and click buy a screen. So once you have your new screen and you want to put it back in, so you put the connector on with the clip. Put the screen on and make sure you don't forget the webcam cable. So that's the thing I find that's most easy to miss. Okay, now like I said, the mounting brackets, if you look at the side, when this laptop was damaged, you see that this mounting bracket was bent a little bit also. So we're going to do a repair on the mounting bracket. Right now, when we see when we press it against the back lid, it's not even, it's kind of bowed in the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to gently bend this bracket back. Don't, don't use too much force, just do it slowly so that it's flush. Now it's almost flush against the back lid. That's it. So you've seen how we do this. And the name of the website is www screensurgeons.com. My name is Eugene Pan Rutkovich and I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. Okay, thank you very much and good luck.